Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own online store using your very own website. In any business, it is absolutely crucial that you have your own website because for one, you appear more professional and for two, you can present yourself any way that you want. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own online store using Wix. And I'm very excited to share that this video today is sponsored by Wix. Wix is an excellent website builder that gives you total freedom to create, design, and develop any type of website that you want. And if you're ready to get started creating your online business with Wix, you can just click the link in the description below. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, the first step is to create a Wix account. We're inside Wix and the first thing we're gonna do is get started. Now you'll need to create an account. If you haven't done that, go over here to sign up. You can also continue with one of these. I already have one, so I'm just gonna put in my info really quick. All right, so now I'm inside Wix. I might look a little bit different from yours just because I have a trash here, just because I was playing around with it a little bit. But what you're gonna wanna do is create your new site. Wix is now gonna ask what kind of website we're creating. We are gonna go with online store, but you can choose from a bunch of different options as well for something more specific. All right, and now we're presented with two options. We can let Wix's ADI create a website for us, or we can create a website with Wix's editor. We're gonna wanna go with the editor. So I'm gonna edit with a template. All right, now as you can see, there are a bunch of different templates to choose from. And you can also tailor it to the kind of business that you're wanting. I'm focused on design and clothing especially, so I'm gonna go with fashion and clothing. And I think I really like this website template here. So I can press view to take a peek at it. I can even view full demo. And now a preview of the website is pulled up. Looking at it, I think it looks really cute. I love the minimalist feel. Perfect, edit this site. The second step is to design your website. So now that the template's pulled up, I'm just gonna wanna customize this to fit with my brand. If you don't already have a brand and business figured out, you can go over, Wix has a business name generator as well as a logo generator, and those are excellent tools for getting on the right track to figuring out your branding. So the business I'm gonna be creating is gonna be called Delicately Divine. I'm gonna be mostly focused on apparel, but especially designs in general. So I'm going to want to customize this site to align with my brand. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do right here, we have the text, life, etc. It's just a little filler for an example. But what I wanna do is put my logo there, which I've already created. So I wanna make sure I've clicked on media right here and then I'm gonna upload my logo. All right, here's my logo. So I'm just gonna crop it so that it's not so square like this and it's more rectangular. All right, so now I have my fully edited image. What I'm gonna do is just leave the media files and come over here and just click on this edited version. And now it's immediately pasted onto the website. I'm gonna put it just where life, etc. is. Fortunately, Wix has a bunch of grids, so like I know right where the middle is, and I think I'll put it right about there. That looks adorable. Journal, that's not a page that I want, so I'm gonna go over to menus and pages, and now it's pulled up all the different sites on my menu here, and I'm just gonna come here, I'm gonna delete journal. And now it's gone from right here, and it's also gone from my site. Now I'm gonna keep going. I'm not really interested in this right here. So this is a fun slider right here. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add something different. All right, instead of this image here, I'm going to go with this cute strip. It says, hello, I think it's adorable. So instead, I'm gonna just delete this right here so it's not in the way. So I'm gonna want it like right about here. Right there is perfect. I'm also gonna change the image here by going to change strip background and that'll pull up a bunch of different backgrounds over here. I really like the look of this one. I think it's super duper cute and it looks good with my branding. I like hello, I think that's cute. I'm just gonna change the font for it. So if I come over here, I can edit the text and change exactly what font I want. That one looks good. I like that one a lot. So we've also got this button here and I'm gonna edit this a little bit by just clicking on design and that'll pull up a bunch of different ways. I can have my button look. I really like the look of this. I think this looks really cute. Let's say I want the font to be the same font as this. So it was like Kodax or Kade. I don't know how to say it properly, but now the font's the exact same and I've got this lovely button. I wanna change the 
link. So I'm gonna want this to go to a specific page, current window, I'm gonna want it to go to shop. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is come down here and I am going to insert my lovely image again. I'm gonna put it so it's right about here. I like this line, but I'm gonna see if I can move it a little bit this way. And then just stick this guy right in line with the line. Perfect, I think that looks good. I'm gonna wanna come back and also change some info down here when I have everything more figured out for my business. So now I pretty much have my design figured out. I can add more to it if I wanted to. So if I click on add, Wix gives so many different options and it's great for customizing my site exactly the way that I want. All right, so now that I've got pretty much everything figured out so far, as far as design, I'm just going to press preview. And looking at it, I think that it is super duper cute. I'm in love with how this looks. And now the third step is to add products. For my store, I'm gonna be using Printful, which is an excellent print on demand company that pretty much allows you to design anything on anything, whether it's a sweatshirt, a pillow, a phone case, like pretty much anything. All you have to do is design it. And then once a customer buys it, Printful will create it for you. They will ship it for you and you don't even have to touch the product. And fortunately, Wix has a fancy integration to connect the two. And to do that, you just wanna pop over to your dashboard here, come to store products, scroll down find products to sell and then once you've done that printful will be the first thing that pops up it might look a little bit different for you just because I already have it connected but basically you're gonna want to press the button to connect it I'm gonna open the app right here just so you can see and then I'm gonna click on this little store icon right here and that'll bring me right to the products on my store and as you can see I've already created two sweatshirts they're kind of cutesy for the fall that's kind of what I'm going for I've already created these two products I'm just gonna create one more so that you can see the process to do that all I have to do is click add product and now I am presented with a bunch of different options I am currently focused on clothing so I'm gonna come over here to women's clothing I've already done uh, two sweatshirts. I'm gonna do this cropped sweatshirt. I think it's really cute. And now what I'm gonna want to do is drop a design right here. I'm gonna go with this cute design that I really like. No rain, no flowers. That's one of my favorites. And to change the color, I just came over to product and choose colors. So I selected this one. You can change it to whatever color you want and select sizes. So small, medium, and large. That's all that's available in this type of shirt. So now I'm gonna proceed to mock-ups. I can choose from a bunch of different fun mock-ups. I really like this one. She looks all happy and cute and I love it. So I'm gonna to proceed to details now. And now here is where I put in information. So product title, usually you're, you can keep it as is, but I'm gonna customize it so that it's a bit more tailored to everything. So all I've done is added no rain, no flowers, crop sweatshirt to the product title and I added a cute little description. And then we have Printful's description of the product as well as Printful's details. And now I'm gonna to proceed to pricing. All right, looking at pricing, we have the Printful price and we have the retail price. So this is however much Printful is gonna to charge to create the item and then retail price is how much you're gonna charge customers to buy the item. Profit, this is how much you're gonna be making. So obviously the higher you set it here, the higher the profit as I'm sure you know so I'm gonna have 38 for all the different sizes now that's giving me a profit of 10 bucks and I think that sounds perfect and I'm just gonna submit it to my store now I'm back on my site and you'll see that if I go down to my store and click on manage products all my products that I created will pop right up and now you'll see that everything I've created is right here in the featured items right on my store. And now the next step is to set up shipping. To do that, I want to go over to my store and press define shipping rules. And now that I'm here, I can see we've got domestic United States shipping and we have international rest of the world. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna edit the shipping rule for both United States and for international. So currently it says free shipping, but I'm gonna do rate by weight. And I'm just gonna call this standard shipping 
weight range a pound we're gonna say a pound is five dollars if you look right over here printful fortunately has this whole page that tells you all about their shipping rates and how much it'll cost so you can get a better feel for how much you should price your shipping at so that you get compensated fairly basically you'll need to make sure that your shipping lines up with printful's rates like you can offer free shipping just make sure that the profit that you're getting lines up with it because you're going to be eating that extra cost and then i'm going to for one pound and up let's say eight dollars so i've edited how it is for united states i'm going to edit it so it's the same way for international and now the next step is to set up sales tax so right under settings in our store under e-commerce and finance we will see tax and so we're going to click on that all right now we're in the tax section and we're going to want to automate our tax with avalara which makes it so much simpler so we don't have to worry about all the tax legalities and everything i have now created my avalara account which means that automated rates will be added at checkout i don't know about you but i think that's one of the most complicated parts about business is just trying to figure out taxes and legal stuff but avalara takes care of it all for you so i think that is amazing now the next step is to connect to a secure payment provider i don't know if you've been seeing but it's been yelling at me that i need to connect a payment method so i I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So looking here, I can choose from credit and debit cards, PayPal and manual payments. I'm gonna go with PayPal and credit and debit cards. So I'm gonna start by connecting that. And now I'm here, I can choose from accepting credit and debit cards and Wix point of sale, which is in-person payments, but I'm only gonna do credit and debit cards. All right, I've just gone through and I have added PayPal as well. So now I have both credit and debit cards as well as PayPal. And now the last thing I need to do to complete my setup is to make sure that I have Wix payments enabled. So now I'm at this spot where I'm gonna put in all of my legal information. Wix payments is now set up for my account. And now the next step is to upgrade to a Wix business and e-commerce plan. To do that, all you'll need to do is exit the store dashboard. And right here, there's this handy upgrade button. And once you click this, you'll be presented with three different options. You can choose from business basic, business unlimited, or business VIP. It all really depends on what you plan on doing with your online site. Each has a different list of benefits and what you'll get with that plan but make sure that you have your plan chosen because you'll need one of those in order to sell online. Now the next step is to get a branded domain. So one thing to note is that with all of Wix's premium plans, you can get your own custom domain. I don't know about you, but I think delicatelydivine.com sounds a lot better than delicatelydivine.freewebsitebuilder.com. So you'll definitely need to have your own branded domain. And to do that, you can just come up to settings and then connect domain. Here you can either connect a domain you already own or you can buy a new domain name. And if you have Wix's premium plan, you can do it for free. So now I'm going to type in the name that I want for my site, delicatelydivine.com. That's why I am calling my business. So I'm going to search for it and yay, it's available. So now I'm going to click the button to get it. Alrighty. So I've just connected the domain to my website and now there's just one last step and that is to publish my website. And to do that, all I have to do is press this fancy publish site option that just came up now that I connected my domain. And now that I'm back in the Wix editor, I'm going to come over here and press publish. And yay, now my site is live, so I can press this button to view my site. And here's what my site looks like. So I don't know about you, but I think it came out looking super duper cute. And if I click one of my products right here, it'll come up on this lovely product page that already has everything put it in just the way that I want it and it looks perfect. So now I'm gonna pop back over to the Wix website editor for one final step, which is going to be editing my mobile site because nowadays so much of online shopping takes place via mobile. So it's absolutely crucial that your website looks good on a phone. All right, so now here's what my site looks like on mobile. And I'm honestly really happy with how it already looks. I think the only thing that I'm gonna change here is just this line because it just comes out like this which obviously looks good on desktop but not so much on phone and that is perfect i'm really happy with how that looks and now i'm going to save it and now all my changes are saved and i am done and that means i can start selling online and if you've been following along then you can too and that is it thank you so much for watching again if you want to get your own online business up and running click the link in the description below to get started with wix if you liked this video please like and subscribe i would super duper appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day.
Bye.